thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining us again this week uh, on our show. Let's talk. This is episode number seven with my sister, Charmant. Yes. Um, so today we're going to learn a lot and a lot and a lot about uh, the Minister of God, uh, the Woman of God, Charmant. And we're going to, to, to find out everything about her, about her ministry, and uh, everything that is uh, going on within our life. So stick around and uh, let's, let's, let's all be blessed by everything that we're going to, to find out about the minister, yeah. the woman of God. Thank oh, you. Yeah. Yeah, man. Thank you for sticking around. Uh, as I said uh, today, it's a pleasure, it's an honor to have the woman of God here. Uh, so before we go into anything, I just want to to uh, send out my appreciation to Mukuba. Mukuba meaning your husband. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Asante sana kwa kwa release. Thank you for releasing her to come and be with me uh, today. Um, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> I think I think I'm going to uh, to have a great time um, because uh, you are a person. You are someone that I've known for some time now, and uh, I've seen you doing things uh, oh. in, the, in, the, in, the, in the in the in the body of Christ. And uh, I think you've got a lot that we can share that um, we can be inspired by. You know, um, last time I had my brother here, yeah. and he was telling me, you know. Uh, we sit here to to try to tell people our story so that we can inspire them, but then also at the same time we are getting inspired as well. So uh, it's a win-win kind of situation. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so um, uh, yeah, Minister of God, just uh, tell people who you are. You know, you may, there may be someone there watching us, yeah. and uh, the. You know, they may know Charmant, but they don't know Charmant. If yeah. you know, if you know what I mean, yes, yeah. I so uh, let us know who you are, uh, what you're doing, what you've been up to, and uh, uh, so that people can get to know you. Yeah. Then we can move on from there. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Charmant Basengezi. Um, another name is Safi, but my preferred name is Charmant. And um, I'm a mother, <laughs> I'm a wife, and as well I'm a singer, gospel singer. Um, I think, um, yes, I'm from Congo, DRC, and a place called Bukavu there. So, yes, <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Did I do? <laughs> yeah. I think <laughs> people <laughs> go to. <laughs> Who am I and yeah. yeah. No, I mean I mean um uh there is you've mentioned a lot there, so it's okay. You yeah. you don't have to worry. I think I think if anyone wants to ask any other question they can just reach out to you okay. and ask. But the bottom line is a uh, child of God, a born again Christian, uh minister in music. Yes. And yeah, from Congo. How yes. did you end up here? I know. <laughs> yeah, by the grace of God, I, I can say that. Yeah. Yeah, I ended up okay. here by the grace of God. How long have you been in, in Australia? Four years now. Four years? Yes. Just four years? Just four years. Okay. All <laughs> Still right. <new. laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah, comparing to, to some of us, we've mm. been here. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Um, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much, uh, Woman of God, for coming. Uh, I know you're a busy person, <laughs> and you're very busy, and uh, you did uh, all that you can just to make time to come. Oh. I really do appreciate that. I really, really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you uh, so much, too, this, for this, inviting me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm honored. <laughs> yeah, amen. Thank yeah, you. Because I know, I know, I, I may not know too deep in details, but I know that, that uh, you are someone who's busy. You've got a lot that is happening 
got family, work, everything, church, whatever. You've got so many <laughs> things going on. Um, uh, anyway, we're going to go jump into it straight away um, because uh, I think it's important that people, people know our salvation story. Um, and uh, everyone that I have here, I ask them this question. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When, tell us when you met Jesus, when you received your salvation. Tell us the experience. Tell us what happened. Was it dramatic? You know some people yeah. meet Jesus in a dramatic, dramatic way. way yes. And, and, and di- different, 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 you know, different ways. Yeah. But um, so give us that, that background. Uh, that 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 uh, that story, or you know, let us know what what really took place and and how was it a, a, a salvation factor for you? Uh, I would say mine was not really dramatic. Mm. <laughs> yeah, um, and first of all, I would like to um, ask you guys to bear with me as uh, you know my English. <laughs> I don't think it will be that <laughs> that perfect as it's like a third language for me. So, yes, bear with me in any way I could I, I'll try to explain myself. Please understand as English is my third language. So yeah, and <laughs> I'll I, just be trying. I think if, <laughs> if you also get, you know, there's a word that you don't know, you can just say in Swahili, it's okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll put some t- subtitles or something Thank like that. Thank you for yeah. that, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, yes, um, I think, yes, I'm born again, and um, I think I received Jesus uh, like for you know, for us who grew up with a family who which are a Christian, like we grow up going to church from very very young age. Mm. So uh, at certain point we think that's sal- that's being Life, uh, salvation and that's yeah. it. Like you know, that's how we should live. Mm. So that's how I grew up. I grow I grew up with my grandparents. So from really really young age I was into church. They are not. They were not pastors. Mm. They are not part pastors, but the way we were living in their house, it was really Strict, more Christian. Yeah, yeah. Like so, yeah. So I started going to church, like singing in Sunday school when mm. I was around five, six. Like you know, going up. Mm. So with me, um, since you know, in um, there's th- these churches we go to in Africa and Congo, mm. they don't really baptize uh, kids. kids when they are yeah. young. Yeah. Like they wait until you are. 14, mm. they, they say mature that's enough. when you are mature enough to understand mm. what's going on in mm. life. So, but I grew up, I grew up knowing I'm, I'm a Christian. Mm. <laughs> so me, I just know even if I'm not baptized yet, I'm, I'm a Christian. So mm. I can't do this, I can't do that, how they teach us yeah. in Sunday yeah, school. Yeah. So yeah, uh, so I grew up with my grandparents. And so I was singing, growing up in church, but I was not baptized. Then mm. I live from Congo to Uganda. I went there, I, I went to live with my auntie. So by then, that's when I got baptized in Uganda. So by then I was mature enough mm. because I left Congo when I was going to be baptized. But mm. unfortunately, uh, I went to Uganda mm. without being yeah. baptized. But I went to Uganda, that's when I got baptized. And I would say that's when I received my, uh, like Jesus as mm. my God and savior. Yeah, when I went to Uganda. So uh, by then, yes, I was baptized and then I received my card. Yeah, and yeah. I think your 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 story is uh, straightforward, and yeah. it's, I think is is you, you are blessed or lucky enough to yeah. to grow up in a Christian family, and um, so somehow you already knew the the you know what what is all about. Yes. Um, okay, that's good. Yeah. Now, um, was there any challenges? You know, after you receive Jesus, now yes. you know, okay, Jesus is my Lord and Savior now. I'm baptized. I'm yes. a born again. I'm a new creature. Uh, now, was there any challenges after that? Yes, I would say there was. Um, you know, you know when you live to a certain country, to another country, they, people say Congo is where, like, worship people, they worship, they fear. Like, it's not like they fear sin, but at least... Mm. When you are in a church church um, area, mm. you'd you be yeah. at least somewhere. Yeah. You're not doing there, that, doing that. So when I lived to Uganda, uh, the challenge, the first challenge I got was churches. 
like where look okay, okay right now i'm in this church they have baptized me you know the person who baptized that's your father mm. so that's the the, the father. Spiritual father spiritual father yes so mm. when i got baptized uh straight after the church split so wow. the church split wow. and that was my big biggest challenge mm. because like this church sp- split and then i'm asking myself where should i go now mm. you know there is this this part and this part mm. like you know the the, mm. the 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 owner of the ch- like i'm not saying the owner but the the, the senior minister the senior minister goes on and like open his church and then the other pastors remain mm. so i was like where should i go now Do, that really was challenge a challenge for me because i've just received god it's time for them to start teaching me in all mm. ways and stuff mm. but i didn't get out of that opportunity and i had to go out because i was living with my auntie so my mm. aunt was left from that uh, my yeah. s- the senior pastor yeah. who, who baptized me and went to the other pastor so oh. that was my challenge like i thought that would be my father yeah. but now you see uh, yeah. i'm with this uh, the other people the other side, and that yeah. was my challenge so mm. i had to bear with it and see how it goes and mm. getting used to to that pastor the new pastor mm. but it was always my challenge because in uganda churches churches they split so much so so much it, and mm. it makes the the people in church to the members members to go back a little bit because of yeah. problems and yeah, yeah and yeah. that's why for me i always say i rather stay in church no, i don't want to know the problem of the church much mm. Mm. so that they won't make me you know go mm. back yeah, into yeah, yeah. because when you know everything like the board the mm. board of church mm. people know everything of the board of church mm. it will be hard for them to yeah. be because they know the problem this one yeah. is bad yeah. Yeah. you know it's so so hard so <laughs> I, i told myself since this is happen i'm not going to be changing churches like if the church split i stay with the yeah, ones that were the there stay, yeah, fast yeah. so that i made that decision because it was too much for me mm-hmm. so but i still went on and yeah. start living my life in the church and i said as i told myself i'm staying here they split i stay here that's what i <laughs> i made as my conclusion wow. i said yeah maybe it would help me yeah 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 and i think you know be, being being new uh like just be born again yeah. uh, i totally understand uh, uh why why that, that was a challenge for you mm-hmm. uh, and a lot of people it, it really destroys a lot of um, Christian. uh, Christian, mm-hmm. christians mm-hmm. because uh, they find themselves they are new they don't know much yet mm-hmm. and now they are confused now they are confused um, you know i thought christianity is people supposed to be, to together. be together and yes. you know so um uh, and again i think you know if it's it's a different story to someone who was not who was not grown you know who, who did not grow up in a in a christian family yeah. they just from the world all the way into the church and either and they are born split. again and then the church split <laughs> yeah that is the, the shock is different yes. to, to your god, story compared and i thank god that there was not like that because yeah. if it was like that i don't know why yeah i think it would, it would have been very different to someone who was just from the world mm. to yeah um well thank you so much yeah. for that now um uh is there anything specifically about that that challenge did you did, is there anything that you learned from it mm. i know you said that you know you you now you made a decision not to yeah. Yeah, stuff like that is there anything yes, else I, that I, i didn't learn so much from it uh, first of what, what what i learned first was like don't just judge people anyhow you don't know anyone you judge because um when that was happening i could, i was young but i could see what is happening i could see who is wrong mm. and who is right But then when when things come out yeah, out there mm. everyone everyone say oh, no this one is the bad one this one is the bad one so I could say I, I won't judge people just easily I'm not saying like I don't really judge people I'm not that perfect mm. but I try my best not to judge people yeah. according to what I've seen so if I don't know I don't know I won't say anything I won't I won't say oh no this one is the person who is like this yeah. so what whatever problem happen in life in, in churches I don't really I don't want to go in that problem because I've seen how it's how it has been happening. Mm. So I learned to be 
just resistant to myself what I really want to do and what, 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 where I want to be and what I want to do for my God. That would be enough for me. Wow. I learned here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for that. Mm -hmm. um, now, um, Obviously, you're a Christian. You yes. attend church Christian, here yes. in Perth. Yes. Yeah. So, um, if you don't mind, can you tell us what church you attend? Uh, what at least give us a suburb yeah. where it is, and uh, you know, you never know. Yeah. Someone around that area. I say this all the time. Oh. Someone in around that area may be looking for church and is watching this video. And if you mention it, you know, they may, they may, they may, it may be a salvation point for them. So uh, just tell our viewers um, the church, the name, uh, and the suburb, and you know, and invite, invite them. And yeah, you never know. Oh yeah. yes, I go to um, uh, uh, Living Faith Pentecostal Ministry, which is located in um, Twenty Six View Street. Um, Yes, 26 View Street. North Perth. I North think, Perth, yeah. yes. So yeah, that's where I go to. I I do my the work of God there. Wow. Yeah. Uh, what time is Sunday? Yeah, the church starts at 10 o'clock to 12:30 Sundays. All right. Um, thank you for that. So uh, if you live around North Perth uh, or in, near there, Jundana, that whole area, and you are looking for a church to attend, you know, there is a church. Uh, living faith yes living Pe living faith pentecostal ministry pentecostal ministry and uh, it's right there it's a community church so you are welcome uh you know uh, if you need more details or contacts or anything like that uh you know um, send ask me or send me a message or something and uh, surely i will get that information to you um in the church uh, do you have any roles in the church, or is there anything that you do uh, in the church? Yes, I do have roles in the church. Mm. I'm a singer in the church, and again, a um, vice vice choir master. Should I okay. say that? Yeah, okay. <laughs> vice president All of right. the choir. Yes. Right. So somehow you are in the leadership of the choir. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, now. With that role uh, of the choir master or vice choir master, it doesn't matter, but it's a leadership position. Yeah. Um, um, is there anything, for example, um, uh, okay, somehow, is that position has ever helped you spiritually? Yes, in so many ways. <laughs> yeah, can you give us at least one? Yes, it's, it has really helped me because um, ever since I was a child, mm. like about being a um, leading choir, I used to do that even in Congo, like mm. Sunday school. I used to be a leader, one of the leaders, oh. stuff like choir, kids choir sometimes. Mm. So even when I went to um, Uganda as well, I was a leader because I'm, a, I'm someone who, if I move from someone, I can't finish to that place one month without joining any choir, <laughs> singing part. Yeah. So when I'm like that quick to join join um, singing and stuff, so people are like, oh, like she has, she has not yeah. even known the place or whatever. Yeah. So I just join and they giving me roles like that. I, there is never a role that I've given myself, like I want to lead these people, no. Just, no, 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 we want Sister Shaman to lead us and mm. stuff. So that's yeah. how it was happening. Yeah. Even here, I think that's how it, yeah. it also happened. So, yes, I've learned a lot, a lot. It's, me, uh, it's helped me to pray more because I want the, I, I, I always want the group to, to, to be with, within yeah. like the Spirit, God praying. Yeah. And mm. so it's, it's because if you want to tell someone to be praying, tell someone to be doing something good, you have to yourself to do it first mm. for it to be in you so you can give it to someone else. It. So it makes me uh, be in the presence of God most of the time, like mm. getting time to pray for the group, mm. getting time to tell God, uh, give me what to tell these people, what yeah. to teach these people, yeah. how to lead these people. Yeah. So it, it really helps me to, it makes me yeah. in the presence of God. Wow. That's, that's really good. And I can relate to that um, because uh, 
uh, anyway, I'm, it's not it's not about me today. Yeah, it's um, okay. But I can relate to that. Yeah. You know, you you kind of you basically you feel responsibility yes. that you are carrying, yes. and you have to make sure that you don't let anyone down. And then that that causes you to to be focused and to seek God more. So that yeah. Thank you so much for 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 that. I th I think yeah. I think that's really really good. Uh, and I think uh, yeah. Yeah, I like the way you said, you know, you if you want to pass on something to someone, you need to do it first yeah. yourself and then so that you can have something to pass it on. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you for you. that. <laughs> yeah. um, all right. So you mentioned you are in the choir yes. and myself personally, I know you're a minister yes. um, and uh, I would love I will have the links of your of your project and stuff like that on the on, on the on, on, on the description, okay. um, just for people who haven't come across your music and everything. Um, now, when did you realize first that you can sing? Mm. <laughs> Do you remember that 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 experience of that period? Uh, I wouldn't say, really. Um, oh, yeah, I, I think it was in Uganda because that's where mm. I really I started really being more like mature in, 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 the, in the God's work. Yeah. So I think it was in Uganda. That's when I started really knowing, oh, I think I can sing. I would sing when I was young, from five to think, mm. but I think I knew that I can sing when I was in Uganda. Mm. Okay. Mm. How did you know? Ah, uh, how did I know? <laughs> Do I remember well? Um, you didn't you see know? angels coming to you at night and telling you can, you have to sing? No, I would sing. Like, uh, I would dream of singing, actually. Okay. I would dream oh, wow. of singing. Wow. I always dream of singing, actually. Uh. I don't know. Maybe it's because I I I I, I sing too much and mm. almost every time. So sometimes I dream of singing. Mm. And when I dream of singing, the, um, uh, the good thing is like I don't forget what I was singing. Like sometimes I even wake up I'm singing it. I would get even my phone <laughs> recording what wow. I've been singing. Wow. I I can be singing someone's song, not even oh, like yeah, I'm yeah, writing yeah. song oh, yeah. or anything, mm. but someone's song. But I just wake up. I'm like, let me record this. Mm. My husband like, what are you doing? <laughs> <I'm> like, wow. <laughs> it just happens like that. But now, I think when I, I, I knew that I could sing is when I would, I just feel like I love singing. I want to do this. The passion. I, I Like for me to do this, I don't know how I can mm. sing. Because sometimes I feel like if I sing just in choir, it's not enough. I feel it's not enough. Mm. So I th then I, I told myself, I, they, they, if I really want to be in singing more, mm. I need to I need to start like to getting more time of singing um, how should I put it uh, like I would sing my own songs in um, aside from choir oh, from choir yeah. yeah and then I go and teach it to choir like I've mm. never I've never heard of this song I'm like this song I just I just sang it last mm. night yeah so I bring it to choir yeah. and I ask guys let's add on this song like chorus yeah. mostly chorus I oh, always okay. get chorus <laughs> <laughs> with verses, it's a bit hard, yeah. but I always get a chorus. That's why sometimes I wake up at night and I'm singing a song mm. like that. So I always take it to choir. I'm like, guys, I woke up, I was singing this song. Can we make this song? So after that, I, I, I understood, oh, how can someone, you know, just... And someone told me, like, how can you just wake up, you're singing a song, I don't forget it. And I'm like, I don't know how it happened. When, I, when it's just stick in my head, I sing it the whole day. So. For that song to, to for that song to be there, I had to bring it to some people who would make the song stay mm -hmm. there, and yeah. I would know I I would know this song I'm the one who started it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I think that's when I started. I say, you know what, I would, I can do this. I can I can I can start a song and finish it even if yeah. even if it's not in choir. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's that's nice. That's good. Now, um, you know. I think uh, uh, personally, mm -hmm. I think you are a blessing to people, Amen. Um, and I can say that in public because it's true. Um, 
I think you, for, for me, you inspire me. And I'll tell you why. Mm. Okay? I'd love to hear that. Yeah, I'll tell you why. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you why you inspire me. And, um, and that's why I brought you here. Okay? I, didn't bring it, I, bring, I didn't bring you here for, for just for the sake of it. It's because I've seen something in you and, and, and you inspire me a lot. Okay, because I, I look at the things that is surrounding your life and then on top of that you still make time to actually go out and make a project and do a, a, a job or do something for God. You know, that for me, that's, you know, when I look at your kids, I look at your family, I look at your work, I look at the church, responsibility of the church uh, and, and, and everything else. And still, you have the passion. I think I mentioned that to you. Like, when I look at you ministering, like, I see a passion. Like, you, it's something that it, it comes really from deep, from within. Um, so, my, ne my next question is, what drives you to, do, to sing for God? What, what, what is it that pushes you? to do what you do for God? Uh, first of all, I would say, when you love something, you would go for it. Like when you love something, mm -hmm. you would go for it. Why I'm saying that is, you can't really do something you don't love. Because most of people, like the same way you're saying, busy, kids and work and this, but you're still um, singing. So it's like, uh, because people, they are, most of people come, from, like most, most from Africa and stuff, they are singing. They are, they've been singers from there. Mm. But when they come here, because of busy life, mm. they stop. How come you don't stop with them? So mm. I think it's a matter of loving what you're doing. Because if you love what you're doing, my dear, you continue, like no one is going to stop if you love it. So that, that's, that's how sometimes I say, maybe that those people that come here and stop, especially singing, they didn't really love. But I thank God that I can manage, mm -hmm. I, I would say, by the grace of God as well. Um, and as I said from before, it's about loving something. When yeah. you love something, you can do anything, yeah. you know. Uh, it's not like, yeah, it, it's like when you, like for me, when I put my program, like what I'm going to do, mm -hmm. if I don't do them, I just feel so bad. I, I, I feel sick. So for me not to feel sick, not to feel bad, I have to make sure I'm doing those things. Take your schedules. Yes, so I think that wow. helps me. And uh, as well, uh, having people around me, especially my husband, who mm. helps me a lot and allows, allows me to you know, do my, my, my thing because if it was not for him, maybe I would stop yeah. singing and yeah. you know. Yeah. So he helps me and even my kids as well. So mm. we help each other around the house because it's like I'm like, Guys, if we don't do quick right now, we're going to be late to the church. We're going, I'm going to be late at work. I'm going to be like, I have someone, I have to do hair, some people. Yeah. So get, let's do quick. So the help of my kids and my husband as well and the family around me, mm -hmm. I think that's how I can manage wow. with God. Yeah. Yeah. So um, correct me if I, if I got it wrong, but yeah. I think you're saying is that, you know, it's just, it's a matter of planning. Planning and loving. And loving what you, what what you, you do. Yes. Oh, okay. Because if you don't love it, even if you plan, yeah. you would plan and say, uh, I'm planning, I have to do this and this. And then if you don't love whatever, you're going to sleep and yeah, don't do you're anything. Not be, even you're if not you plan, be yes. Too disciplined <laughs> yes. If you don't love it. If you discipline yourself, you say, I have to do this and that and that. And I love doing all of them, then you can go for it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, guys, you know. It's manageable to have multiple things going on around you and could, and still do ministry. Yeah. So uh, just it's a matter of loving what you're doing and planning and discipline yourself. Yeah. So thank you so much for for that. Yeah, I think uh, I think uh, you know we can learn from there. Uh, we're going to take a break now um, so that we can uh, we, we we can refresh again. We're going to talk a, more about our sister. Uh, the woman of God, Charmant. We're going to talk more about her. We're going to talk about what's next. Mm -hmm. uh, what is she doing now? What is, is there any project that has been, you know, 
in the kitchen or anything like that. And more and more and more and more. So stick around, don't go anywhere. Yeah, man. Ah, let's talk. Let's talk. Can you talk, man? Let's talk. Let's talk. And now you got this talk, man. Come on, let's talk. Let's talk. Uh, welcome back. As we continue to, to learn more and be inspired with the woman of God, uh, Sister Charmant. Um, now, uh, woman of God, uh, me myself, I'm a, one, of, one of your fans, let me say, or one of the people that follows your ministry and follows what you're doing. And um, you've only been here four years and you've done a tremendous <laughs> amount of work, you know. <laughs> Uh, it's a lot, really? you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh. I'm a songwriter, mm -hmm. I'm a singer, and I'm a player as well. Mm -hmm. So I know, I know how much effort it takes to make a song. I know, you know, a lot of people sometimes they don't they don't really know what really goes on, um, but there's so much, so many, so much of effort and, and and so many investment. Is, is placed into into that you know investments of your time of your money and a lot of stuff you know um, uh, that is involved in, in making a project you know a song you know uh, so I know it's not an easy work you know and uh, so that's why uh, in four years of you know with all that you are doing look. Four years, I don't count the first year for me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Because the first year, <laughs> you're still settling because in. Because for me, yeah. I even came with the twins. They were just four months. So I had to sit for one year yeah. just home yeah. with them. So, so um, <laughs> yeah. it's not, it's technically not four years, <laughs> but you've done, you've done, you've done a lot of work. Um, so, um, God bless you for that. Yeah, you, are, you are really... You are really putting putting too much efforts and thank too much God. work into it. I thank God for yeah. giving me that strong strength. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was gonna ask you about uh, the Amani song uh, that yes. you you released uh, recently, mm -hmm. but you've already talked about it how yeah. you were driving and. Yeah, Amani, it came. Yeah, it just yeah. came like that. Yeah, because the question was gonna be what was happening. Mm. What what were what were you going through for you to come up with that song? But mm. obviously you've already gave us the details. Now, um, what's next? What's next? Mm. For Charmant. <laughs> uh, right now, yes, we are cooking. Mm. <laughs> we are cooking a lot of things mm. around. Mm. But what's next? Um, um, I just feel like uh, doing projects with some people who inspires me as well okay. because I also get people like uh, yeah. they do things that inspires me so my projects now is like uh, doing I, I would call it they call it collab or something mm. yeah so singing with those people that blesses me as well okay. so mostly that's okay. what I'm planning that's good <laughs> yeah well, that's, that's exciting <laughs> yeah. I, I like things like that yeah uh, are we expecting something soon are you are you in a place to tell us anything mm. about the project or uh, very soon here. It very will, soon. It will be here, yes. Soon. Very soon. Soon, soon, yeah. Wow, we can't wait. Me yeah. personally, I can't wait. Uh, yes. Um, uh, that's, that, that, that's, that's great. Um, now, uh, you mentioned Collabo. Are, are you going to tell us names? Or it's still we need to be surprised? Names of, of, of people with Collabo. Mm. No, no, I, I really can't say a name because I can, I can wake up and today I feel like, oh, oh like okay. today, like, oh my goodness, brother Gillian, this okay. song is just, let's just okay. do it with, you know, there is a song someone can sing and yeah. you say, oh, this, 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 this song goes someone, with yeah. this person, yeah. you know, you just, sometimes the songs are mm. like that. So maybe I, the song can come and this, yeah. this song is Brother Julian's song. Okay. So I, I won't stand right now, this okay. person and that person, but anyone that... Right. Also God to help me, like God will to reveal God, me yeah, who, yeah. who and yeah. So yeah. not just everyone, yeah. you know. That's, that's good. Yeah. Now, um, do you think making albums is relevant in this age? You know, a lot of people nowadays, they release singles, it goes on YouTube. Yeah and so on and so on uh, like we've moved on from cds yes to now digital yes uh, now do you think making an album is relevant i, I, 
want to say it's really relevant now because as you said now CDs are not so it was more because I think the albums were, were more because of CDs because mm. you put your six song there and you know you mm. would wait, wait for the whole six songs that's when you release something mm. but right now the YouTube and everything so it's there but still like when you reach to an album you can do maybe a launch or anything mm. but like to wait for those like you know, let me say 12 songs seven songs and so you can release i don't think it's really something mm. that it's not yeah. relevant or no. it's not really important no 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 okay yeah. yeah yeah i mean i mean um uh it depends on um how you want to define it yes. to be honest everybody is different yeah. Um, yeah. You know. Actually, that's what's for me. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not saying other people would want yeah. words, but yeah. for me, I just like sometimes when a song comes to me, mm. like for me to just wait with it, like just wait, wait until no, no, no. I just feel like no, no. I need <laughs> to sing this is, song. Yeah, like people need to it, hear this word. It, it, it. You know. Uh, so that's me. But yeah. Yeah, I totally agree. <laughs> yeah. I totally agree, and I know I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, uh, for me, for me, it's a bit different. Yeah. Um, uh, I do. Uh, I still believe in albums. Yeah. Uh, but I don't. I don't believe in CD. Yeah. Yeah. But I still believe in albums. You yeah. can still have an album yes. in, on YouTube. You can oh, still yeah. have the whole album there and things like that. I think for me, it's just uh, you know the way I I work is. Uh, you know, there's a certain time that God gives, or I'm inspired with certain type of songs, mm. and then, and then I will say, okay, um, we'll put all of these songs in one album yes. because this this album it, it has a message. Mm. Uh, we are worshippers, yeah. and uh, it's important that we we do consider these things and we think about the the duties or the job that we are we are we are all to do you know uh, so sometimes it's good to just reflect you know how is the body of Christ doing you know in our city uh, you know my fellow ministers how are we cooperative how are we doing so that we can continue to lift the, the yes. name of God up yeah. you know uh, and, 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 and and of course everybody is different. And, but through our reflections, then we pick up where there's a mi mistake or where, there's, where, where we need to improve from or what we need to do in order to continue to, to keep the body of Christ in, 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 you know, in fire, in flame. Um, here in Perth, okay? here in Perth, as ministers, yeah. on your perceptive or on your views how do you see uh, what's happening do you think the body of Christ as ministers okay here are we healthy do you, do you get my question mm, um, healthy <laughs> healthy as in okay uh, are we doing good are we giving justice? To, to the to the body of Christ, are we doing what we're supposed to be doing for the body of Christ? Mm. Do you think we are, there's a problem? We still we still have to improve a lot. Mm. We still have a lot to do. Mm. We are just started. Mm. So here in Perth, I would say mm. we are just starting. We are not there yet. Mm. We are still far. Mm. Yeah. So we need to improve. Yes. There is, we need to improve because we are just started. There really that not that yeah. much of strongness yet. Yeah, okay. It's good. Um, I like how you said we just started, and, <laughs> yeah. and I strongly believe that. Yeah. I think that's very true. Um, I don't know if it's because I've just came in. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why. But like to, uh, to my view, I, I like people. Yes, people nice were here, and they were, but like the more of. Mm. You know, mm. Mm. distributing it to to everyone. Yeah. You know, it was there. Mm. You know, it was there, but people were like, oh, should I, should mm. I give it to everyone? Or 
you know do you, do, <laughs> you th- know. do you think if if uh if for example yeah. we are to come together oh, all of us i pray for that every day okay every all day <laughs> I, I i it's not like i i'm telling you i pray for that every day Mm. Because everyone has got their own, like their mm-hmm. own voices, their mm-hmm. own ways of. Because the way I sing is not the way someone, mm. some, someone That's sings true. there. But when those voices come together, mm. they build something that you you won't even imagine. I'm telling you, I pray for that every day. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Do you think if we come together, all of us, and make a decision and say, look. Let's, let's shake this city. Do you think uh, that will be possible? Yes. As a, do you there is nothing we, that is not possible. Do you think we need it? Yes, very much. We Why? need it. We need it. Mm. We need it. You know, because you said to shake this path, you know, to shake this path, we need oneness we need love among each other and mm. then unity mm. we can't shake prayer without unity yeah. you know you know this country their country like some of us we just came in you know so we need to um build more of, you know africa i don't know this when they make concerts when they make um, always they're always in the presence of mm. present worship concert this that so if we we we, go, we be together in unity mm. and love we can shake this bit. That's the only way. So it can build, it can help with, um, you know, uh, you know, it can build more musician in here. You know, sometimes we, you know, sometimes I show, like I'm like, oh, now I'm planning to do something. But now the musician, I have to get musician from other places. Why well, not? Too. Just mm. our own here. So if we are one, we'll get that. Mm. Yeah. And people to be coming. So you make a concert, you make a, a present worship, but you find like, Hundred people come when when there is a lot a lot of people here. Yeah. You know, but when they see oh, those people to, or like me, Julian, who did, we are one, we are at we are one. We are, we, we are united. Mm. Why don't them also come yeah. and unite with us? Yeah. You know. But if they say ah, this one does their own, they are, they, are, they don't you know help each other. How how mm. should I you know should I help you? So that's why I said. You have to do something first, and then other people will see what you're doing, so they can follow you, or you can give it to, to other people. Yeah. So um, when we are one, united, we we'll do big things here. Yeah. That's that's. Thank you so much for uh, answering. That's the answer I was looking for. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I brought it up because I think it's important. Yes. I think we need to to get to a level where we come together. And let's join hands. Yes. And let's really do the work of God. Yes. And and let's push the work of God. And you know, let's make a difference in this city. Yes. Uh, so um, I wish, I wish that all the ministers, if you are listening, we we can be in one accord and let's do this. Uh, it can be anything, you know. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you. Anyway. Okay, I think we've talked that enough on that on that point. We'll move on. And we will do it in Jesus' name. Yes, yes, yes. We, we shall succeed. Def- definitely. Yeah. All right, you've mentioned you've got some collabs. Oh, that's what you feel that you want to like do doing, now? Like doing, yes. Yeah, so yes. That, that's good. Um, collabs are good. Uh, I really love collabs because uh, you learn a lot. Yes. You know, there is always room for learning. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter what you're going through. There's always room to learn something, you know. And when two people come together, there's always that yes. happening. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, that's why I love uh, the collabs. Um, advice. Anyone, there could be someone, a young lady, mm-hmm. maybe. Uh, who is watching you, watching you, uh, your spiritual life. It could be at church. It could be in Sydney or Adelaide, different state. Yes. They are following your ministry. They're following what you're doing and stuff like that. And uh, they wish or they feel that they want to be like you. Like me. <laughs> yeah. What advice would you give them? 
Um, you know what? Uh, to be like me, <laughs> mm. uh, don't wish to be like me. Mm -hmm. Wish to do more than me. Mm -hmm. Be like, like uh, I would just say, um, I like I, I like the way that sister is, but I want to be more mm. than her. Like what she's doing, you know. Mm. I can be. I'm just I'm right now. I'm just singing. I'm just uh, looking after kids. I'm just. But you, you can do more than that. Mm. So don't don't just limit yourself of being like me, you know. Mm. But try your best and be yourself first. Mm -hmm. Like be you. Mm -hmm. First of all, be you, mm -hmm. <laughs> because there, there is always one person in the world, otherwise you are twins who looks yeah. alike, but still, yeah. there, there, there is always you. Yeah. Be you first, and then make sure, whoever the person you are admiring is, be, make sure you, you make yourself more, do more than what that person does. Wow. I think that will all help you <laughs> more. No. Yeah. That's, that's, <coughs> excuse me. That's good. Um, any final words for our viewers? Anything you want to say? Anything that you feel that you want to put out there? You are welcome. The stage is yours. <laughs> yeah, first of all, I would like to thank everyone who is watching, who um, has been um, doing, uh, um, liking the Brother Julian's uh, things that he's doing because these things are really, really great. I'm telling you, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to put it, but <laughs> what you have started, mm. I, I really, this is the start of do, putting people together yeah. seriously. Yeah. This is the start because, yeah. you know, the way, because there was no, maybe I wanted to come and tell you guys about me, but mm. there was no one who would call me. Yeah. You know, so Brother Julian, he is calling us so he can know more about us. Yeah. So thank you so much for um, supporting him into uh, liking, subscribing, um, just anything you are doing. And I, I really appreciate that on his behalf. I know he, he, he does that every day. He appreciates you. But I'm also appreciating you for what you're doing. And please continue doing that. You know, it it's really encourages us so much. When, when someone says something good about whatever you're doing, it encourages you. Oh, yeah. okay. So these people appreciate what they yeah. do. So I'll, I'll do more, yeah. more, you know. Yeah. So thank you so much for um, supporting our brother, Julian. Mm. God bless you and continue to support him in any way yeah. possible. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you so, so much. Uh, Sister Salamat for coming. I really, really uh, appreciate. Like I said in the beginning, I'm really honored to, to have you here. Uh, and, I'm uh, most honored yeah. <laughs> to be and I also, here. I also <laughs> wanna, want to, to send out my appreciation again to Papa, mm -hmm. uh, your husband. Yes. Uh, thank you so much again, sir, mm -hmm. for releasing your wife to, to be here uh, today. Uh, we had an awesome time. I think uh, I think I had we had an awesome, awesome time. time. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so yeah. much, so much. <laughs> yeah. Well, we hope that you had an awesome time yeah. also, and I hope that you learned something. I hope that you're inspired. Mm. I hope that the you know there's something one or two things that you picked today. Uh, so thank you, and please share these videos around yes. with your friends, your networks so that they can also be inspired, they can also be blessed. God bless you, and you have an awesome week. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>